All right, so once we've made a scatter plot, we can then use that scatter plot to determine if we have a linear relationship, meaning a straight line relationship with the data. Okay, so we look at the scatter plot and we're going to determine direction, form, and strength. So the direction is telling us whether we have a positive, negative, or neither of those relationships. So with a positive relationship, the dots on our scatter plot are going to be moving in an upward direction. A negative relationship, the scatter plots are moving in a downward direction. And then if it's not positive or negative, that means it's doing both of them or they're so jumbled that you really can't find a direction from it. So this guy, it goes down, but then it goes up again. So this is neither positive nor negative. So when we have something that is a positive relationship, we call that positively associated, meaning that as the explanatory variable increases, the response variable is also increasing. If we see a negative relationship, we call that negatively associated. So as we increase the explanatory variable, we're seeing a decrease in the response variable. So this is what we're looking at for direction. So is it positive or negative, basically? Then form describes the general shape of the relationship. We are mostly interested in whether it's linear or nonlinear, if it has any sort of curve or anything like that. Because the only thing we're going to be looking at is relationships that are linear. If they're not linear, there are ways to deal with those types of relationships, but they're not going to be within the scope of this course. So we see here a linear relationship. So the dots aren't a perfect straight line, but they are moving generally in a straight line-ish pattern. Then we have a curved relationship. So we can see there's a definite curve to the pattern of the, of the dots on our scatter plot. And then here we have some clusters. So we have a big cluster up here and we have a second cluster down here. So this is giving us the form. So if we see something that's definitely curved or definitely clustered, we might take this and say, you know what? It doesn't look like there's a linear relationship. So maybe I shouldn't do linear regression, which is what we're going to build to for this data. And then the last thing we're going to look at with our scatter plot is strength. So how closely is the data following the form that we found? So is the data all really close together like we see here? That's a very strong relationship. Or is it definitely moving in some sort of linear fashion, but maybe the data is more spread out, giving us a weaker relationship? Or maybe somewhere in between. So these are the three things that we're going to be looking at when we interpret our scatter plots. We're looking at the direction that the dots are moving, the shape that the dots take, and how, how close those dots are to that shape. So strength, form,